Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with a WBZ News update. Our top stories this Friday, a man accused of killing a 13-year-old boy in Mattapan is being held without bail after facing a judge this morning. Sean Skerritt is accused of shooting and killing Tyler Lawrence late last month. Now, Tyler, who is from Norwood, was walking near his grandmother's house at the time, and the Suffolk County DA says he believes this was a targeted attack. An Arlington Catholic school employee is out of a job this afternoon after an alleged inappropriate interaction with a student. Police in Arlington tell us they're investigating the incident, which happened on Wednesday. They say it involved a school employee and a student who is a juvenile. According to The Globe, the employee was part-time, was not a teacher. The alleged inappropriate incident took place in a hallway during the school day. Another staff member who overheard it reported the incident. Parents have been notified and the employee no longer works there. Police will be investigating the incident. Police in Cambridge need your help locating 19-year-old Joshua Shacklewood. Now we're told Joshua is nonverbal with everyone except his parents. He was last seen around 6.45 Tuesday morning after leaving his home on Strawberry Hill for class at Bunker Hill Community College. Joshua is 5'7", about 120 pounds. He was last seen wearing a black jacket, blue jeans, black sneakers, and a Patriots knit hat. Joshua also wears glasses. He has brown eyes with black hair. If you have seen him or have any information, you're asked to call Cambridge Police. Let's get a check of the weekend forecast now with Lexi O'Connor. Lexi. Thanks, Paula. We are topping out in the upper 50s and low 60s for another day, but early this afternoon and then temperatures will be dropping as a cold front comes through. That front has been bringing some showers on and off through the morning and early afternoon. We'll continue to see the chance for scattered showers through this afternoon and then temperatures plummet down into the 30s this evening and then 20s tonight. You can tell where that cold front has come through. Temperatures have dropped down into the 20s. They're still holding on to 61 one degrees in New York City early this afternoon, 58 in Boston. Some spots have reached 60 degrees early this afternoon, like Fitchburg and in Norwood up to 60 degrees. Highs today will make a run the upper 50s and low 60s early this afternoon, but again, then they drop through the day, the late afternoon and evening hours, and then tomorrow won't be as warm as it has been. It will feel more like February tomorrow with highs in the upper 30s and low 40s. That cold front is going to bring in that colder air, and we'll also have still the chance for some scattered showers through the afternoon, and then those showers will be tapering off as we head into the evening hours. Expect that cooler air to move in from west to east through the late afternoon and evening. We'll see temperatures dropping down into the 40s. 40s and 30s and then continuing to drop as we head into the evening hours. So at 5 o'clock this evening, still a few showers around, especially east, and then we'll see clearing skies. Might even see a little bit of sun breaking through the clouds farther to the west before the sun sets. Temperatures tonight drop down into the 20s. Expect mostly clear skies tonight. A nice bright start to our Saturday, but it will be cooler, much cooler than it has been the last several mornings, feeling more like mid-February uh, tomorrow morning. And then highs tomorrow again, just in the low 40s. For today, winds will be picking up uh, out of the northwest as that front comes through. We'll see wind gusts between 30 to 40 miles per hour coming in behind that front. That northwesterly wind is going to bring in that cooler air that will We'll be with us for tomorrow, but the cool down is kind of short lived by Sunday. We're back in the low 50s for highs and then low to mid 50s on President's Day. Chance for a few showers, but it's not a washout. Chance for some showers in the morning and then late in the day. And then temperatures stay above average, not quite as warm as we have been, but we're still looking at highs into the middle of next week in the mid to upper 40s. Could see another system come in for the middle of the week on Thursday that could bring some rain or a wintry mix right now it's trending more wet than white paula over to you all right lexi thanks i'm paula ebbin this has been a wbz news update